एवरीवन नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम अंजली एंड वेलकम बैक टू स्मार्ट टेक फेस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द एसिड प्रॉपर्टीज इन डेटाबेस सो बेसिकली वी हैव लर्न वी हैव ऑलरेडी नो और इफ यू हैव वर्क इन सीक्वल डेटाबेसेस सो इन दैट केस व्हाट हैपन इज एसिड प्रॉपर्टीज आर मेंटेन बट नाउ मोमो डी वी ऑल्सो सपोर्ट एसिड ट्रांजेक्शन सो इफ एनी केस इन समवन आस्क यू दस मोमो डी वी सपोर्ट एसिड ट्रांजेक्शन येस इट इज इन वेरी ओल्डर ट्रांजेक्शन दैट वॉज नॉट सपोर्टेड बट नाउ फ्रॉम लाइक आई थिंक फ्रॉम फाइव और फाइव फोर और फाइव वर्जन और एसिड ट्रांजेक्शन आर मैं आर देयर इन मोमो डी वी दे आर सपोर्टिंग द एसिड ट्रांजेक्शन सो वट वी विल कवर इन दीज सीरीज like firstly we will understand what are the acid transactions and how that is going to be happen in mongo db so in acid transaction uh, we are not going to cover a lot like what are they how, what are the examples so we will we will just cover in like in few lines and so because there are many tutorials and many videos are already available on acid transactions so we are we want to majorly cover the acid transaction in mongo db so we will not cover much more about the theoretical part of acid transactions and uh, then after understanding the acid transaction we will going to have some examples that where we can use it in the next part in the next part of this series of uh, performing or we will be creating some line of codes that how we can perform these acid transaction in our java project because i am um, uh, the you can you can perform these same thing in other languages as well but here we will be doing in uh, in java and then we will cover like what are the like in, when we are performing the acid transactions what are the things that has that can't be done and what are the exceptions are there so let's get started so as i said we are going to cover acid properties just a few lines or you can say few line meanings of that is so that you can understand what you are going we are going to cover in next few uh, few minutes or next few parts so we in asset means we have a four property in every transactions like atomicity a for atomicity c for consistency i for isolation and d for durability so if i will say about atom atomicity so in every databases uh, so whatever the commands you are performing like you are performing multiple updates you are performing multiple updates and finds and other other operations that as that should be executed as a single unit single unit here means like if any of the transaction got, get failed if any transaction we are not able to perform due to any error any exception then whole transaction should not be performed that all should be roll back we can't Uh, we can't let it go with the single update or with the single uh, insert whole the transactions whole the commands within a particular series that should be performed so that should be applicable in both replica sets and in the mongodb it support distributed transactions and applicable to both replica sets and sharded collection that can be done in uh, in either way so we will go with the example in next Uh, like in next other few minutes uh, next is the c consistency consistency here means changes within a transaction are reflected across the databases so what in simple words i will say let's say if you are going to perform anything you are performing like update in any transaction or update that should be valid even after before performing the transaction or after performing the transaction what are the updates you are going to do that should be valid that should be uh, that should not be a like outside the range let's say if you are updating the marks and that should be in uh, always should be less than 50 because obviously from 50 you can only give max 50 marks but that should not increase 50 right it should be it should be 49 should be 50 uh, it can't be like 60 70 that should be a valid marks update so that transition that are reflect and that should be reflected in across the databases so what does that mean is like uh, if you have duplicate data like you are maintaining marks here in database a you are maintaining marks in database b in terms of mongodb i am saying this and then uh, 
if you are updating marks in database a that should be reflected in the other databases you can't do it like you are updating in the one database and you are not updating, updating it in the other database so that is we are going to uh, for uh, that that is the meaning of consistency here and in isolation i must say that isolation is like if like if i am a user and you are a user also and we both are performing the same transaction at a time that should be operates independently they should not be data conflict how the mongodb uh, is going to make it occur is like so in other databases it is like they use the log operation like uh, in log what does that mean is until or unless the data is not committed to the database that should not be visible to the other user so because in a transition we are performing uh, we are performing transition in a, as a single unit either uh, if one is updated and another is in process that first should not be visible to the other as well because we have not committed it yet we have not write it to the database it yet or in mongodb you have used like uh, concerns write concerns read concerns are there you can use that for particular thing like whether you want the committed or uncommitted data there are read level concerns uh, majority concerns read level majority concerns write level majority concerns so you can use it so we will be doing it in uh, like when we are doing practical of it like when we are going to perform these lines of code and we are performing these acid properties in r java and the next is durability so in durability once is transition and completed and changes are written to the database they are permanently stored should persist even after so what does that mean let's say we have performed the transition and there is a system failure occurred so when it restarts it should be persist it should be there it we can't afford if the transition was happening but a system uh, system failure occurred and then now the data is lost we can't do it in mongodb if you know there is a copy of transition is maintained whenever you restart your system whenever the system restarts it actually look into the opel log transaction and maintains the record what has been updated what has been inserted so that is maintained in the mongodb as well so this is the acid properties and yes if you have any doubt regarding these properties please comment it down we'll try to solve it as soon as possible okay and the next is example so i have uh, so so okay theoretical part is okay fine but what are the example how we can use it when we have to use it so let's take some examples of it let's say i have account a and account b i have two accounts and i want to transfer money from one account account a to account b so here let's say i have transferred 500 rupees from a to b and in any case in any case after account from my deducting the money from the account a we are not able to write it in the database for update in the database for account b so what will happen account account b will not have a particular data that should be there it should not have the updated data so in that case a transaction should occur we should create a session that means if we are updating in account a and account b both should be uh, should be updated as a single unit or as a in a synchronously if any failure occur like in account b there is a failure occur while updating then the update in account a should also be rolled back there should not be up any updates in account a so this is this is what we are talking about the atomicity this is what we are talking about the transactions in mongodb that yes we can do it and the next is let's say uh, as uh, okay in a database uh, i have a account a and uh, i am transferring the amount from a to b okay and the b from the account b someone else is querying for the what is the what is the balance amount in my account b so in that case if the process from transferring from a to b is happening that is in process that has not been committed yet but in that case if b is trying to querying to get the balance amount it 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 should be getting the previous one because the data is not still committed let's say th- uh, 1000 rupees was already there a is transferring 500 rupees from a to, uh, 
person one is transferring the amount from a to b like 500 rupees the when the b is trying to get the balance of the amount it should be getting that thousand because a to b transfer is still in progress and that is not being committed yet by our code or our project that is why if two users data should be consistent across the user we are not providing the dirty data to the end user so this is some examples of asset properties that how or when we are going to use it and uh, 